It is now official that the 12th Parliament has been adjourned since day prompting election campaigns to begin in all corners of the country. Members of Parliament had earlier passed a procedural motion that could have extended sittings at the National Assembly to June 17th. The Speaker of the National Assembly, Honourable Justice. The 12th Parliament has faced so many hurdles, including the effects of COVID-19. Despite the challenges, legislative issues have been taken care of, though with lots of highs and lows, and most legislators are willing to have another term in office come August. I would like to say that uh, the 12th Parliament was unique in its, in its own way, maybe like the 10th uh, Parliament, in the sense that the government and the opposition merged midstream. So you couldn't even tell whether there is an opposition or whether there is a government side. But what do I expect in the 13th parliament, which I still believe my constituents will give me leverage and the constituents will be able to give me another five terms to serve them from 10th of, from 10th of August, God will. But I still believe that the next 13 parliament is going to be more vibrant. Uh, there's going to be a new president which is going to be in. in. There's the new euphoria which is likely to come up with him. Uh, there will be a dynamic, uh, there will be a dynamic kind of opposition which will still be, and the election will be won, not on, on dispute, on, on court, uh, Supreme Court uh, duels, but an election that is decisive, an election that is likely to make uh, uh, a decision in terms of how the elections are going to be done. The 12th Parliament has also received a lot of criticism due to the high cost of living with Kenyans, saying the legislators have failed to present their needs in Parliament. Well, as far as this performance is an average performance, and I will rate it as a 6 out of 10 uh, for the performance of this Parliament, 12th Parliament, as regards to uh, the sessions that have been... And the biggest challenges has always been the COVID. You remember very well, we have been having a COVID sessions and virtual uh, sessions which have been going on in this house for nearly two years. So that has must have been able to, to contribute significantly to the passage of number of bills in the house. So that is the main reason that I think I can be able to attribute for the low number of uh, bills that have been passed in the house. The other thing that I can also be able to contribute and which was significant in this house uh, for the last five years is the issue of the handshake. The handshake significantly affected the, the, the check and balances which, which was expected in, in this house for, for that matter. We have lowered down uh, and we have let down Kenyans in terms of bringing the check and balance as desired. To, to, by, by, by Kenyans and, and as expected by us by law. So those are some of the challenges that I've realized uh, we should not have a right. The 12th Parliament that's coming to an end. I wouldn't say that Parliament failed as such, but I will say that uh, we faced many challenges in the 12th Parliament. Uh, we tried our best, but unfortunately the House was polarized. It was not even a matter of the opposition, the government side, but it was actually the infighting. The political season has officially begun and now politicians and aspirants from different political parties have the green light to sell their manifestos and agenda to the public in their respective counties and constituencies. Election laws that we have passed in this house. So basically you can see it and it's affecting other Kenyans. So that is what I want to say. But nonetheless, I'm truly thankful to the people of Wajia's consistency for having given me this good time to serve them adequately, and I feel I must have served them well, based on my development records in terms of the six girls' secondary schools, uh, and which I've constructed from know-how, and, and the, the fact that I was able to bring a sub-district of Korfarar for that matter, which has, is uh, equipped with a recruitment center and a number of students, a number of youth have been able to secure jobs as a result of that. God came to the rescue of this country by bringing the two together. The failures that have been faced by the 12th Parliament are evident. On matters legislative, the Parliament has failed to legislate laws that could bring the cost of living down. 
on matters representing Kenyans, the parliament has failed to represent Kenyans, keeping in mind that the financial problems among households have skyrocketed especially after the serious effects of the COVID-19. On matters to do with oversight, the parliament has failed to fight corruption, which has been on the neck of Kenyans for a while now. Members of parliament had earlier passed a procedural motion that could have extended sittings at the National Assembly to the June 17th. Kind of Stefano, Ebro TV.